from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, begin! And the dogs are going down. There's Chestnut. He's the defending champion. He's looking for a 10th championship. He jumps out right in front with two, but both Esper and OG, they keep trace with him. That's a surprise. I was looking for, well, finally we get Stoney in there. Well, the, the moment of glory is upon us. Now they say we're a country divided, but if there's one thing we can all agree on, is that this contest is the greatest event of the summer. It's the Independence Day holiday out here in Coney Island and across America, and Joey Chestnut is the great unifier right there in the center of the table where he belongs, nine-time champion. So Stoney comes out just two behind, but look at Chestnut. He's not finished out the first minute, and he's at eight right now. Looks like he's gonna be at 10 by the end. If he can keep that pace up for four or five minutes, he can slow down can win his championship and can set a record. Yeah, 10 dogs per minute. It's a 10 DPM and 11 DPM. It's not fake shoes. This is real. This is happening in real time right here live. One minute down. So he went with the first minute at 11 hot dogs and buns per minute. Setting at 11. He's got to keep that pace going for a while here. Well, look at him. You know, two dogs, dunk, boom, down in the mouth. Two rolls, buns, down, in the mouth, boom. Chestnut, Stoney, look at the dogs per minute. 11, now 10.8 for Chestnut. Stoney's behind, sitting there at seven and a half. It's just, it's, it's tough for these guys. I mean, Chestnut has such efficient delivery. The two, the two meats, the two buns, a little bit of water. It's just an incredible delivery system. Jeff Bezos should, uh, should take note. I wouldn't be surprised if Bezos himself is here. I think he's a fan of our sport. I know that we got some young super fans watching out in Jersey, Kel and Cam, and down in Texas, Alexa Lynch. Some of the super fans we saw this year. I uh, met a guy earlier, Paul. He's 40,000 people out here, right? I met a guy at 7.30 looking for a parking spot. Eric Hammes drove all the way from Dearborn, Michigan to drink a Coney Island lager and watch this thing in person. Of, of course, goes without <laughs> saying. Tell you a story about Chestnut, though, as he now has 22. Sincati has dropped down into third, and Esper with 18 now. Esper's a bit of a surprise here. Well, but talking about joy for just a moment, in my hometown, Indianapolis, we have St. Elmo's, yep. world-famous historic restaurant. They're famous for their shrimp cocktail with hot sauce and horse ready. I watched Joey just nail those bowl after bowl after bowl, and he took the win there. Yeah, it's great chip cocktail. There's Esper. He ate 53 uh, to qualify up in Boston. He's from Oxford. Uh, 51, five, forgive me, to qualify. He's very good, but I think uh, he'd be a big surprise if he were to, to, to beat Stoney today. Stoney is lagging behind. Okay, Harman so you've got Chestnut here, Sincati at 23, and Stoney at 20, but keep an eye on Sincati. Sincati's an interesting kid, very uh, cerebral kid. He's a student of architecture. He loves art. He says the Guggenheim's his favorite museum in New York City. Picasso, Gauguin, of course, Gauguin couldn't uh, do a still life with these guys. They'd eat all the fruit. So Sincati at 27. How about Stoney? 21, way, way back. That's a surprise, too. Yeah, for Stoney, that would, as a New Yorker, you, th you think of the F train or Metro North. He's slowing down. He's almost stalled because his pace is typically much faster. And in up the right-hand corner, you take a look at Joey Chestnut. 35 dogs. We're at just under six and a half minutes to the end of this competition. It's been a decade of dominance, Paul, with Joey. It was all the way back in 07 when Joey won his first belt. In 07, George Bush was president. Jordan Sparks won American Idol. In 2007, Little Kim was 32. Little Yachty was just nine years old. Little Yachty was nine years old when Joey won his first belt. Joey hasn't really missed a beat. He lost one year. Good. Going for his 10th now. You know, I think you do have to be impressed with what Esper is doing right now, battling back and forth with Stoney. 27 for Esper. Absolutely impressive. So passing under the uh, six minute mark, let's go to Melanie. Thanks guys. Well, when I spoke with Joey about his ideal pacing for this competition, I asked him, what's it gonna take to hit that mark you reached at the DC qualifier two years ago? That was 73 and a half dogs, the world record. He said, if I can get down 48 or 50 in five minutes, I will smash that record, guys. So here we go. Coming up to five and a half minutes to the end. 9.4 is his average, 9.3 he is. Is slowing, but this is still a pace that's remarkable. He's on an 88 pace. I mean, 
we're halfway through and the emotions are surging. I couldn't convey what I'm feeling right now on Twitter, but if you're on Twitter, hit me up at RP Shea. And also hit us up at Major League Eating on our Facebook. It's, uh, get all the news about Joey, Matt, Jeffrey Esper, and everybody else. It's rich content, bespoke content, curated content. David Shing of AOL said it's uh, thumb-stopping content on our Facebook. Look at that. Harmon Sincotti. Six back. As Sincotti now has 42, but look at the dogs per minute count for Joey. It's been dropping steadily right at the nine mark, and it dropped into the high eights just a moment ago, but now he's picking the pace back up. Well, he was on an 88 pace there halfway through, I think. So now just over four and a half minutes to the end of competition. The crowd. They are on their feet, they're staring, they're watching, they're cheering, they're waving at their champion. And right now the focus is Joey Chestnut. 49 dogs and buns at 8.85. He's still slowing down, Six. but still looking so strong. Six dog league over Carmen. You know, Carmen's been chirping Joey on Chitter for over a year. Likes to uh, talk a little bit of trash, but Joey said he doesn't really bother. Doesn't bother him, he kind of finds it cute, he said. I guess lions don't worry about the comments of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> At four minutes to go, Chestnut, but Sincani's picked up, he's six behind. I don't think there's a chance, but he has certainly given this man a run. Matt Stoney doing the pop. He's favoring that left side of his. And he, you know, I, I think he just got some uh, Ed Sheeran lyrics tattooed to his ribcage, and he said it's still tender. We push and pull like a magnet do, and though my heart is failing too, that one, that's the hit, right? I'm yep. in love with your body. Three and a half minutes, 8.3 seconds. He's dropped off just in the last minute and a half by a full dog per minute, but still with 54 dogs, this is a great pace. It's impressive. A few years back, he, he did 54 to win. You remember that, it was blistering hot. Right. In fact, some of those numbers, when you look at championships further back, I mean, we're in that range right now. And then suddenly, in the past year, is this big jump that finally brought Joey up to a record 70 for this contest last year, and a record 73 as the world championship number. Just under three minutes left to go. Yeah, we're in the home stretch. Now coming in, Joey had eaten 577 dogs on this stage. He goes to eight dogs per minute, drops into 7.9. Zincotti at 52, still six behind Chestnut. Keep Two and a half minutes left to go. These guys are looking for the money. There's, there's money available here. 20 grand on the line, so Esper could sneak up and get some winnings. Stoney could get, very likely get, unseated by Zincotti, which would be a big story. But I guess the 10 belts in a row, if Joey can hold on, would be the biggest story of the year. You can see the sun burning down on these competitors. It's in the high 80s right now, very humid. Now, listen to the crowd yep. start to challenge. Yeah, 62 is his number at two minutes to go. The crowd's amazing. When he came in on that Poliquin, it was like thunderous applause. I could hardly hear in my headphones. It's like uh, Justin Trudeau going to a woman's march or something. <laughs> he is loved out here in Coney Island. And look at the pace he continues to set. 62 dogs. He's looking for a championship with a record with a minute and 39 left to go. Seven dogs per minute, maybe he can do it. Sincotti doing beautifully well here with 56. So that's his personal best. Crushing Stoney right now. That's still a battle though, I think for third place there. Chestnut, a minute and 20 seconds, maintaining 7.4 dogs per minute at 64. 64 could win this thing a lot of years. And he's got a minute 10 to go. If he can keep the pace up, he's going to make a record, not just a Nathan's record, a world record. You know, you see Jeff Esper from Oxford, Massachusetts, a big Boston Red Sox fan, right side, trying to, trying to get back into third and make a little bit more money for himself. But all is right in the world right now. Paul, you can go to bed and sleep tight tonight knowing that Joey Chestnut has solved hot dogs. He looks like he's on his way to his 10th title. Counting in the final minute with 40 seconds to go. Will he make it to 73? Will he eclipse his 70 of last year for a Nathan's record? The next 30 seconds will give us that answer. Listen to that crowd. Nine dog lead, eight dog lead, 25 seconds. 
looking for a record. 20 seconds to go. Chestnut has it handily. Sincati, nine back. Oh, boy. Rafa Nadal got 10. Joey Chestnut looks like he's getting 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Joey Chestnut unofficially at 71. That would be a record here. They just threw him another one, 72 unofficial, which would be a record for the corner surf and still well, 101st running of the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Contest. And look at that battle uh, for third place between Esper and Stoney. It came in close, just a two-dog difference as Stoney takes third.